All right, we're live. So now that's three times. Hi. I love the camera. Zombies are coming in. Gross. Just give her a mustache. So what is this makeup for with the zombie stuff? You guys are doing like a separate competition that's... Yeah, this is technically cheating. <laughs> You're supposed to do it there? No. Or... You're supposed to do it on yourself. But, no, we do, oh, you do makeup on yourself and way. then <laughs> some... There's like... Isn't there different levels, Ali? Yes. That you can win? Yeah. And then the, the face-off people are doing their demos. Oh. Oh god. Oh. That happened. That, that was really live. live. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's I'm sorry. It was the very wow. Little <laughs> viewer. <laughs> <laughs> so <Zavidis. laughs> We're gross. When the zombie says you smell bad. <laughs> I honestly feel like I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I like yeah, I see what you're saying. Hi, what's up? <laughs> We're getting started in like a little bit, but I guess for now, we'll see what's going on. What's that? <laughs> Are we in an elf? I think so. That is some peppy I know that they're doing it. I want to be in one of the elevator that is. I know that they're doing it. Hey. How's it going? Oh, nice. Hey, Kevin, question. Hi, Drew. What's going on? Kevin. Nice Good to meet, meet you. you. Finally. How is everybody? Kevin, Good. She just got out for work. Shh, Kevin, I have a question. I'm going to go show the room real quick. Excuse right. me. So is there anyone else? Excuse me. Oh, All right. I'm going to show you guys the room. I can't really talk while I'm in there, though, because they're doing interviews and stuff, but I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick. This is where they're going to be doing the makeup. Um, they got, I guess, three different people here. That, let's see what's over on this side. Yeah, Saria? Okay, thanks. Here are the judges, I'm assuming. You guys all know who Tom Savini is, right? Yeah, and then there's going to be a bunch of people sitting here for the competition. Yep. I'm streaming now. Yeah, say hi to everyone. Hi. On what site? On YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. What channel? Forward slash the dro. Yeah, no problem. I'm um, just doing like the pre show thing, showing everybody what it looks like in here before it gets all crazy, you know? Okay. Yeah, so they're basically going to be doing stuff like that. It's like a bunch of really crazy makeup. Have you guys ever seen the show on TV? They actually play our music on there. They have it for like the, um, the trailers and sometimes on the commercial breaks, they play Dead Stars music on there. They actually license them out, the songs, I mean. But yeah, I can't show all that, so I'm gonna end up getting a copyright strike. So, anyway, you guys know the, you guys get the idea. More zombies. Hi. Hi. Are you dead or undead? Both. Both. Okay. Depending on the day. That works. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Are you dying in the process of getting there? <laughs> Look, I got a new battery pack, too. It's at 81%. I'm just charging it so that it's ready to go when we get started. And that is her daughter. She's into horror movies and stuff. And she likes Luna. <laughs> you like Luna, right? Here, tell everyone you love Luna. I love Luna. Why are you recording this? Because that's my job. Uh, you know what live means, right? Yeah. yeah. It means 24 7 never ending. Are you talking about live me? Yeah, live. Going live? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah, looking at you right now. What are you doing What's that? It's my new spot. What game? No, wait, no. Uh, I'm not Flappy Hero Go. Flappy Bird Go? Flappy Hero Go. Oh, yeah. Flappy Hero Go. What's the difference? Um, it's not a bird? No. Um, 
it's still learn, 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 but like it's more video game Oh, that's right. Uh, it has coins. So What's your favorite you know, game? Definitely this game. And I'm never going to beat my high score. <laughs> What's up? Hi, I'm Dro. I'm Kyle. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. How long have you been doing makeup? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I remember you were doing some stuff before and then while well, you work here. Yeah. Sorry, I get annoyed when I'm doing this and I don't talk much unless I ask a question. Are you telling me to shut up? No, no, no. I'm saying like I just, I'm not good for like just talking. Like, so you're telling me to shut up? No, no. You can ask me a question. As long as I shut up, right? I'm gonna paint your face next. What are you gonna paint on it? Okay, you're gonna have to edit that out though. Edit. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna make her a zombie too? You don't want to be a zombie today? Hey, but look, this doesn't make any sense because it says when witches go flying and black cats are seen, tis Halloween is the best holiday ever until days until Halloween. That was a mouthful, huh? You wrote it? Yeah, I took chalk and wrote it. But you're saying it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Because... So why'd you write it? Because I want to be silly. Oh, okay. Well, then you're a silly pants. How about that? Oh, uh, Mom's going to paint your face next. I know. She said she was going to draw a big thing on my face. <laughs> <laughs> she repeats that later. Hey, you said it first. I was just repeating you. So it's your fault. You're the, you're the original content for that. Oh, check this out, too. She's got, like, all these cool things on her shelf. So I brought her some dead bugs from my collection so she can choose some. Oh, I think she's going to put them up on her, on her shelf. Here, I'll show you guys. What are you talking about? The people watching the video. There's the parents to my hisser roaches and then some molts and stuff from the dubia roaches. And then I've got that, which is tarantula molts. So she can pick one of those. Are you scared of bugs? I'm scared of moths. I'm scared of spiders. Are you scared of roaches? Yes. You are? Why? They're harmless. See, look at how big these are. Oh, are those alive? No, not anymore. Good, good. Did you kill them? No, I don't kill bugs. I make friends with them. Fennec fox. Yes, the fennec fox will kill bugs, but... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. What's up? Oh, I'm tripping over stuff. It's my fault. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a YouTube section over here. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people coming in. I guess they're getting started soon. In about a half hour, they're gonna start the show and then you guys will see what it's all about. Yes, let them wear the red wig. It's yours. I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm debating on it. I was like, it's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. <laughs> my face is like coming oh, up. Oh, hey, how are you? Hi. We're live. Hey, Joe. Hey, what? Oh, she's like, I don't know. Oh, she Why are you running nervous? away? Let's go look around. Let's go explore. Somebody died in the music. How do you know? I've worn these once. I think they're all just waiting to go in, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm the worst model ever. You really are. You, you noticed, awesome right? You said that. I told you, I was like, you're going to see how awful of a model I am. I get, I want to talk. And, and move I around move. and everything? I move. I'm the worst model ever. Everyone knows it. I thought she was kidding. No, I really am. I can take things like, you know, like people can mess with my eyes and stuff. I'll be moving though. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I'm good. You good? I'm good. <laughs> hey, so how long are you going to make this drill? Hmm? How long are you going to make this? All night. Oh, it's a habit in a capitan. Yeah. Give me some. You put a camera in front of her. It's over now. 
I know where it's been. You don't want to lick it. Okay. Well, and George just walked in. If you wanted to go ask them, if you could interview them. Oh, now sure. Now the time. They're like right out here. You take me there. You can introduce me and stuff. Well. I, I don't want to bother them. They seem busy. You can do it after, if they're free. Well, you can ask them if you can interview them later. Yeah, I'll talk to them later. They're busy. I don't want to bother them. There's more zombies, though. I'm sorry. That was offensive. I'm sorry. Have you tripped in them yet? No? You're good at it? <laughs> you got this. I know. I've worn before. Oh, okay. Someone in the chat said that you look better in a dress than they do. <laughs> Is it live right now? Oh. Oh, we're allowed to hang out with the guests. Hey. Hi. Lost zombies. <laughs> You're dripping. <laughs> How's it taste? Uh, like pennies? Yeah, like pink icing. That's a good a real life uniform. Is it? what happens when you work night shift. That's why they call it a graveyard shift. I went with my car in the parking lot, but he seems to be the center right Did you there. back up again? Make sure you get the job done? I mean, well, like, I can't leave them suffering. It was like, it was like three or four times. I tried really hard. I did. My, my car. Was yeah. it at the Walmart parking lot? Yeah, I was, I was yeah. trying to leave. He was like, you know, you know that, you know that thing where it's like you call in your groceries and they bring it to you. I was in a real hurry. I was in a real hurry for my um, carrots. Yeah, yeah. I just really needed, I needed my carrots and uh, collateral, I guess. Do you guys go here? I do. He's my boyfriend. Oh, okay, cool. So who did the makeup? You did. I did the makeup. Oh, I didn't do this. <laughs> I, I sat there and tried not to be like. I was watching you do the shit to my fingers oh, and like, fingers. trying not to throw up. Worked himself to the bone. See that? It feels horrible. Everything feels horrible. It's kind of blended into one color on your cheeks, but... Is that a bad thing? I mean, it, it would have been better if it had a different color. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I just know that I'm sticky. Everywhere. Yeah, don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> You've lost your touching privileges for the evening. <laughs> you sound literally just like when I get a new passport. Is that the sound it makes? Look at Allie. She, she did such a great job. Yeah, this I is her it. right here. Better bing, better boom, razzle dazzle. Yeah. Sorry. Give them the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that is. In what? What are you trying to say? That I'm a door blocker? Are you calling me a door blocker? No. You better not call me a door blocker. I'm not. I'm not calling you a door blocker. I'm just saying that you're right in front of the door and... You want me to just put my foot out and trip anyone if they try to steal something? No. Because mom said... Are you going to punch me if I take some? Okay, wait, she's coming to punch me. I'm moving back. She's going to punch me. The little one. I'll get it on the lens. Oh, no, I can get blood on me. This isn't a blood. Honey, please. That's so three deaths ago. That's so three deaths ago. All right, you're back. I'm going to go, and I'll be right back. I just didn't want to leave her alone here. Thank you. I think there's food, like if you're walking to the sound stage, there's room to the left, I think there's food in there. What are you trying to tell me? I need to eat something? I'm looking out for you. <laughs> Thank you. There's enough brains to go around. Oh, this way. I'm getting lost. Bathroom. It's that way, right? There's one there. There's one everywhere. Are you guys waiting for the bathroom at all? No? Okay.
All right, you guys can stare at the Ninja Turtles or something. Yeah, it's a live stream, get it? Okay, we're good, I think we're good. If you guys didn't see this last time I was here, these are all the uh, all the stuff that they create here. I don't think I can come all the way in here without it killing my signal. It did last time, but I'll try. It's working. This is the waiting room? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you look crazy. I can't believe that. Holy cow. Did you make it out of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You <laughs> can't talk. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's awesome. Hey, um, our basement. This is a workshop. I love really? that. That's awesome. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. It really well, well, it does. My basement looks like somebody died in it. Oh, it's awful. Oh, I can't read it. It's only good to school. <laughs> At the same time, I'm proud of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. If you come to school, there's somebody with the name. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And even if, like, one of them gets older and has come to school here and doesn't want to do makeup, we can bring it, like, prosthetics. You can go in the dental business and hire some teeth and, like, eyes and, like, all the places. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And also, we learn how to ventilate. Yeah. Oh, did you guys see this thing last time? Go see in there if they're getting set up yet. Oh, look, there was more here too. These are all clay made. And then here's a bunch of uh, different makeup that they do too. Joe, how's it going? Hey, what's up? You got everything you need? Yep. Did I'm you good. talk to the three of them? I did. Oh yeah. no, not yet. Uh, I wanted to. I was gonna wait till they were done, but if they're oh, free now, we'll they're, do it. They're actually using Mel, Joe, Hi. Caleb. Hi. This is Dro. Hi. He's a YouTube guy. He's doing some live streaming for us tonight awesome. for yep. his for his channel. Um, at some point, he may want to talk to you guys sure. if that's cool. Sure. Uh -huh. Let me know when you guys are free, because I don't want to interrupt you guys eating and all that. So you just tell me when you guys are free and yeah. come out. Yeah, we're yeah, or afterwards. <laughs> Like when you guys are all done, cool. and we'll talk. Cool. It's nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll have a slice. Were you just gonna get me a lot of eating pizza? Okay, I'm just gonna. Hi, uh, pizza. Pizza. In here? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, that water. Poor connection. You make. Let me go out here again so my signal doesn't die. Where the brains at? You ate them all? Mm hmm All right. I'll find some later. We'll share. So I see they got like a prosthetic. Oh, and they got bags of prosthetics here too. And an air compressor, probably for an airbrush. A uh, camera with a nice mic, and then what else? Got another compressor, probably all doing airbrush makeup, right? Uh, here's the last one. 
I don't know what season this is. Oh, season three. I don't know what season they started using the, the Dead Star stuff, though. Oh, you want to see the fountain? Hang on. There you go. That's what it looks like. See how far the line goes. All the way up here. Hi. 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 You can't talk, but hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. You can't talk either, can you? Hello again. I'm trying to see how long this line is. Super long. Are they opening it now so you guys can all go in? Yeah? Awesome. I like your green hair. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> that looks awesome. Thanks. You look mad. Are you mad because you're dead? Okay, you're not mad anymore. You're good. Are you going in there now? Or? Yeah, yeah. I was going to give you the key in case you needed to get to your batteries. Oh, I'm good. Here, take this. I don't, I'm not going to need it. I don't want to lose it. So all these seats are going to be filled? Yeah, as far as we know. Yeah, you have you sold like free tickets and counted the We did like an RCP. Oh, okay. Yeah, like an so it's like free to come and watch? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Literally seconds after I told there's a guy running around here with a camera, you popped on the corner. I was like, oh, there he is. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> I, obviously, I'm not going to bother him or anything, but I saw him walk in, so yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. Most of these people watching probably don't even know who he is. Probably, because they're all younger. Yeah, yeah, most of them. Not all of them. Some of the older people know, but... So I said younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, they'll, they'll be fine just when you can talk to them. Like, after, you just them. introduce me later. Okay. My friend Allison says to run around in circles the whole time. Do it. Okay. Start. <laughs> Should I trip you? No, don't trip me. I'm gonna do it. You do it. Yeah, she ate all that candy. Now run, run in circles. <laughs> See what you started, Allison. <laughs> Good way to get them to behave. I do the same with Luna every day. I just <laughs> take her out running around outside. Drew, I'm sorry. I was distracted. Hi. I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you. I was talking with Mallory. Check, check. I got distracted. Feed me a stray cat. What? Feed you a stray grape. Okay. Thank you. Are you guys playing music? Okay. But it's like face-off stuff, which is probably yours anyway. <laughs> probably mine. Yeah. yeah, guess what? I get copyright striked for my own music. What? Well, it's not really my music, but you know, yeah, Dead yeah, Stars yeah. music, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'll just talk over it and be like, blah, 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 and then it's it won't set song. off my... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I heard their bass players. Blah, 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 yeah, you can blah. usually tell when it's our stuff because it's like, sounds Dead yeah. Starry. Yeah. Are you guys trying to come out of that door? I think the zombies are knocking. All right, I think since they're gonna get started soon, I'll probably go to the bathroom one more time real quick. Hi, I'll be back. Oh, okay. You guys follow each Thanks. other on Instagram. Don't Hi. Meet Joe, Joe, don't meet. <laughs> nice to meet you. Officially meet you. <laughs> What's up? I just figured I'd introduce you in person. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, what do you think of everybody? I was gonna go to the bathroom again before it starts so I don't have to run halfway through and be like, damn it. Excuse me, don't eat my brains. <laughs> Are you important people? VIP. You're VIP, okay, cool. But the bad thing about being VIP is look, I have a little room. Oh, because you gotta turn your head to watch? Yeah. Where would you rather sit? All the way over there? Give me some space. You really need it. Yeah. There's nothing on here. <laughs> I was photo bombing. <laughs> Do it. Flip your weave. Look at me. One, two, and three. Oh no. I was squatting. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, 
Tom. Hey. This is Drew. Nice He's to meet been you. live streaming. Um, he also did a couple of promotional videos for us as well. So he's live streaming as well. Yeah, I came here what, like a month ago. Yeah, so like yeah, and I did a video on on YouTube showing the school around and everything. But well, you're gonna post all this. Right? Oh yeah, I'll edit it all down afterwards. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, bowing down, not worthy. That's how I feel too. So cool, you know, because I got all the horror stuff on my arms and stuff. Fit right in. What now? You have real live viewers, you can talk. <laughs> she does back. all day long. She's always like, hi viewers, and she'll talk to her iPad. Does she actually go live? No. No? no. Just records? Yeah. That works. I don't, I don't trust people nowadays for her to go live, like creepers and weirdos on the internet. I mean, there's one right Allison now. says she like, likes your glasses. How do you know? Because she said that here, look. I know, I like them too. Puppy. You don't look like you need surgery. See this thing right here? This part, the bottom part of the the holder, the phone holder, it just, it usually just like slips right out. I'm gonna put tape around it, so hopefully I don't have that issue. This point of view is weird. Deal with it for just a second. I'm rigging this thing up so I don't lose you guys. Because I had a piece of tape on there before but it started kind of falling apart. It might F for like a second while I walk through the hallway, but then we'll be good. You go. Thank you. Photo shoot time? Huh? Photo shoot time? Oh yeah. Are you trying to get a picture? No. Oh, okay. I'm doing video, remember? Oh yeah, it's still rolling. Are you guys excited for this to start up? I'm excited. I want to see what the hell they're going to do. We have another two minutes before we start the show. So please find your seats. Thank you. They're taking pictures with Tom. <laughs> Everybody's like lined up. I'm just going to go over there and videotape. Ladies and gentlemen, please find your seat. We'll start in one minute. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I heard it all from over here, but I'm not sure what I heard from right here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And how about the far side over there? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, it's a fine evening here in Manesson, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Douglas Education Center. Face off, zombie, extravaganza. How about a hand you got here? You're cool people. My name is Tony Baez Milan. I am the Director of Admissions here at Douglas Education Center. On behalf of Mr. Jeffrey D. Imbrescia, our faculty, staff, student body, welcome. It is our pleasure and a privilege to have you all here. I know that we have people from all over the United States, maybe even from beyond. I don't know. We haven't taken the poll yet, but we'll find out here in a minute. Here at DEC, we have had people from all 50 states, including, yes, Alaska and Hawaii. And we have all, we also had students from all over the world, Germany, Thailand, France, Colombia, Mexico, you name it. We've, we've I made Puerto Rico, correct. <laughs> Myself not included. We have two Puerto Ricans at the school right now, so I'm number three. So that leads me to the next thing. Because we get very curious here at DEC. And I'm wondering who thinks that he or she came here from the farthest regions of the US or the world. So I want you to raise your hand and let me know if you think you came here. I recognize you. Where do you come from? All the way from Manessa. From Manessa. Donna Colfax, ladies and gentlemen. Donna Colfax. Thank you, Donna. One of our instructors here at DEC. So let me have another one. Denver, all right. Give it up for Denver. <laughs> Massachusetts, Denver's got your beat so far, right? But that's far. Don't be shy like me, raise your hand and let me know where you came from. Yes? Um, where, you came, where you going from? Pennsylvania. Okay. 
You're in Pennsylvania now, so you're good. I'm not sure you're in the running, but okay. Anybody from this section, from far away? Don't be shy. Anybody here? Uh-huh, back there. Chicago. Very nice. Denver's still number one, and I saw another hand back there. Where from? San Francisco. San Francisco. Ooh. How about a hand for San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen? Now, the people who traveled here today in our audience, I think San Francisco is the one that's got them all beat. Come over here, San Francisco. Don't be shy. Get right through here. And there was a runner up. Denver spoke up right, right off the bat. Where's Denver? Come on up over here, Denver. Hey, I've seen you before. What brought you here tonight? Tonight? Are you going to school here? Or is... um, I actually got my acceptance letter today. Yay! All right, ladies and gentlemen. Got an acceptance letter today. When did you start? October. You started in October. Thank you. You're going to have to go out there and pick up a t-shirt for coming from the farthest away, right through that door, and they'll hook you up. Thank you. Denver, come over here. What are you doing here, Denver? Um, I've wanted to go to the school for a few years now, so we decided to drive here. Hi. All right. Nice. <laughs> We're two days. Yes. Took two days to get here. We got here last night. Wow. Come on, hands, people. Now, certainly, that's worth a t-shirt. Thank you. Get over there and get, get a t-shirt. How about a hand for everybody? Thank you. And now, up next, we put together a tribute video featuring clips from Mr. George A. Romero's catalog of fantastic and gruesome and cool and influential movies because we are here to celebrate Mr. George A. Romero's long trajectory, especially starting with Night of the Living Dead. How about our hand? Mr. George A. Romero, Night of the Living Dead. This tribute video features the technical director of Tom Savini's special makeup effects program, Mr. Jerry Gurdley. <laughs> the director of George A. Romero's filmmaking program, Mr. Robert Tennell, is in the house. And this video features him as well as the one and only Mr. Tom Savini. So, that's right. Without further ado, Enjoy the video. screening a kid and I came out a grown up because I didn't know movies. I didn't know that horror movies could be that smart. I don't think. I didn't think I quite grasped that it, but I knew instantly that this was something else. He was a person I wanted to be because he did everything you weren't supposed to do. He, you know, he's not, not living in Los Angeles, no family members, no, you know, the whole nine yards. He just came up and then stayed outside of that and did what he wanted to do. When you talked to him, he made you feel like you were the most important person in the room. You got his attention. You know, like if you go to conventions and you see, you know, celebrities so behind the tables, you might be talking to one and you know, they're looking at the crowd and stuff and not really focused on you. George focused on you and you felt important. You felt listened to. You, you feel he led by example. You know, in the same way, what I we were talking about what John Harrison said. He said, you know, like our George's sets were always fun, always fun, even if we fell behind or something. Like there was a there was an atmosphere of joy. You felt at home with your, with your family, and with your family, you might scream and then five seconds later, hey, can I get you a cup of coffee? You know, it was a family atmosphere. Like when I would do a special makeup effect on the set, I would look at George and make a cricket noise, a chirping cricket noise. And if he made the same cricket noise back at me, that means he loved it, it worked, and we could move on. That's how we communicated. We communicated by laughing our asses off, you know. It was, 
A lot of laughs. Uh, he was a funny guy, too. He was hilarious. He was electric. It was just funny. He walked into the room and it was just, things changed. The whole atmosphere changed. Uh, it was just fun to, to be around him. Yeah, Grips would dress up, you know, just their day, 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 and Mexican hat day, day, and Mexican hat day. Yeah. And the morale was, it was just that rich. atmosphere of yeah. fun. And we were dressed as Santa Claus on the side of Dawn of the Dead to throw pies in the faces of the <laughs> Who came up with that? Him. People come here and they try to find, they all go to the Evan City Cemetery, you know, and they look for the graves that were in the movie and they pose next to them. I got a call from a fan at the Monroeville Mall. Hi, I'm in the Monroeville Mall. I'm listening to the Dawn of the Dead soundtrack. Where should I go? I owe everything to George Romero. If there wasn't the Dawn of the Dead, there wouldn't have been a Friday the 13th. And those two is what set my career off and why I'm here. It's like George set up a bunch of dominoes, maybe inadvertently, tipped those dominoes, and they set up dominoes, and it's incredible. I, I wonder if he fully grasped how many careers he launched. I think it just happened because of knowing him. You know, I mean, look, who's, look at the careers of uh, Ted Danson, uh, Ed Harris, uh, Jason Begay on CSI in Chicago. I mean, you know, they all began with John Harrison, Nick Mistandria. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so many. That, that's the domino effect you're talking about. These guys all have careers today. George passionate love of cinema and never stopped loving cinema and never stopped studying cinema. George was a, a rebel and a, he was a maverick. He was the original independent. He was iconoclastic. He was all those things. How about a hand for Mr. George? Hey, Romero's legacy. George A. Romero, we have been very privileged to have known him and to continue to pursue his ideals and to keep his legacy alive. Thank you, Mr. George Romero. And now, we do have a zombie contest here that we'd like to get going with. And I'd like to introduce the judges right now. We're really glad to have with us this lady. She's uh, running the George A. Romero Foundation. She came into it from Canada, right? Right? She made it all the way from Canada. We're extremely happy to have her. Suze Romero. Suze. Are you there? Continuing the legacy of Mr. George A. Romero. Thank you, Suze. This gentleman here is a movie producer, director, screenwriter. He's directed such uh, luminaries. Movie stars like Barrett Reynolds, Malcolm McDowell, Ryan Gosling, and he's got a brand new movie coming out here soon, Feast of the Seven Fishes. Mr. Robert Tennell. Wow. Mr. Tennell also happens to be the director of George A. Romero's uh, filmmaking program. And you know his work from Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Texas Chains of Massacre 2. And you know him and you love him as Sex Machine in the blockbuster movie from Dusk Till Dawn. The one and the only Mr. Tom Savini. Now, uh, Suze, tell us a little bit about uh, the foundation and, and what's happening in, in Romero, uh, the Romero universe. What's going on? Um, we're excited uh, to um, to launch the George A. Romero Foundation, GARF. Um, yeah, because we want to keep that man's ideas alive, and uh, and we're going to do it, and uh, we're very proud. So keep an eye on it. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Bob Tunnell, Feast of the Seven Fishes, what's going on with that? He just returned from Los Angeles, California, with the finishing touches on that movie, so what's going on? We just uh, finished the sound mix at Sony and the color correction out in Santa Monica at Shed. And uh, Feast is uh, a little different for me because it's not quite the genre film I usually do. It's a uh, romantic comedy, but with a wonderful cast, including uh, Joe Pantoliano. You guys know him from The Sopranos and The Matrix and a million things. And... So, so. And, uh, <laughs> Man, it's, it's going to George, George is going, hurry up, let's go, let's get to the show. Uh, and uh, Madison Eisman, who starred in Jumanji and is starring in the new Goosebumps, and uh, Skylar Chisando from Sam Carita died. Just a whole bunch of really talented people. 
Um, but the point I like to make about it is that I very selfishly used this school for workforce development. And when it came time to crew this up, because this wasn't, you know, some low budget fly by name movie, it was a real movie. Uh, several of my key figures uh, were graduates of this program, including one of the line producers and uh, the editor. And sometimes I actually get them to come back and teach, and I bring them back because there really aren't very many people in the region that are nearly as good as they are. So um, it's a privilege. Thank you, Mr. Connell. <laughs> and Mr. Sabini, you I want to know that, and I know it already, but I want to know how it happened, and I wonder how many people know this here in the audience. You once turned Andy Warhol into a zombie. Really? Right. How did that happen? What was that for? What's going on with that? Because that's extremely impressive. It was after we did Day of the Dead. Okay. I got a call from his magazine, Interview Magazine, to come and make up Andy Warhol as a zombie for... Uh, Chris Makos was his photographer back then. In fact, there's a book called Makos, and he, Andy Warhol is in there with me, uh, making him up as a zombie. Also, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Andy Warhol Museum has a poster of it on our wall, yeah. But uh, yeah, he showed up late, he bought a building that morning, and I went to move his hair out of the way, and he gently grabbed my hand, because he wears a hairpiece, you know, so. And I saw the tape, so, you know, he was very cool. And um, so that was, that was ages ago, ages ago, ages ago. But you were talking about students working for you on Feast of the Seven Fishes. Um, if we have potential students in the audience, I want to read you a list here of some of the stuff our students have done recently. They've worked on Stephen King's It, Guardians of the Galaxy, Joe, or Don Guy, she's, uh, and the Avengers, correct, Joe? Yeah. Okay, Woo! one of our students here tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Deadpool 1 and 2, 300, The Conjuring, Lincoln, Pirates of the Caribbean, Help Me Sue's, The Wolfman, Captain America, Kill Bill, Man of Steel, X-Men First Class, Star Trek Beyond, and the team for television, The Walking Dead, of course, Westworld, The Nick, Stranger Things, Daredevil, Marvels and the Thunders, from Dust Till Dawn, the TV series. Now, I, I'm in six episodes of that TV series, and when I went to Albuquerque to do it, uh, two guys were doing my makeup. On the third day, they said, oh, by the way, we went to your school. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me now, I don't even went to my school, okay? Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, Z Nation. Um, and, and I've come across my students at Morris Costumes, Distortions Unlimited, Sideshow Toys, um, and they work in dental labs, prosthetic labs. Okay, one last thing for you potential students. <clears throat> If you come here, you, you're not going to be judged. You don't have to know anything. You don't have to prove yourself. Just be confident that we will teach you everything that you need to know. You don't have to have a portfolio. You're here to be as good as you can be. So um, hopefully I'll see you at orientation. Mr. Tom Savini, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> in the zombie contest, because you came in dressed as a zombie, we need you to line up right out there. My goodness, we have a whole bunch of them. A lot of zombies here. A lot of zombies. We'd like to give a shout out to a man who's doing great things. He is a YouTube sensation, ladies and gentlemen. A YouTube sensation, and he's here tonight. So if you see him coming up to you with a camera or pointing his phone at you, whatever's going on, Drew, where you at? Right here. There's Drew from the Hi. YouTube channel, The Drew. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thanks for hanging out. It's good to have you. Come out here, zombie number one, number two, number three. We'll see how many zombies wind up with you. Looks like a whole bunch of them. They're going to come out right through here. They're going to scare the audience a little bit. They're going to go over there in front of the judges. They're going to give them a good scare. And then we're going to send them back over here and line up. The judges are going to have a few minutes to figure out who the creepiest, baddest zombie is based on application of the makeup, creativity, and of course, performance. We have some great prizes here for them. We'll tell you all about them in a little bit, but let's get the first zombie out there. Zombie number one, you ready? Here's zombie number one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. That's it. And then come over here, zombie number one, and line up 
right over here, all the way here, meet you right there. How about our hammer? Oh my goodness! Don't do this to me. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. You don't know what's going to happen next. Empieza a hablar español y se me olvida inglés y después viene Lucy. Ay, María Purísima. Very Holy Virgin Mary. Good grief. Where was I? There's a whole audience here. I forgot all about you people. You stay right over there, zombie number one. Zombie number two, come on out. Zombie number two. Oh, yeah. Get in the way. I know what you're doing. This way. There you go. They're zombies. They don't know what they're doing. You know. Very nice. Zombie number two. Zombie number three. Where's zombie number three? Come on out. This is a team. We're dancing zombies, ladies and gentlemen. We get them all. We get them all. Go show the judges. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah! Yeah! Good thing the judges are judging you, and not your friends. Zombie number four. Four. No, that's four. Three was a team. Thank you. Well, that's team four, then. We have a couple. Right? There you go. A couple of zombies. Number five. Number five is good thing. Yeah, these are all students that are either Number in the school or going to join the school. This is another team. Yeah. 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 I don't even know what I'm looking at. So you guys get a good look. Okay. Another Tuesday night in Manesca, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't think you were going to see that tonight, did you? Uh-huh. It's a weekly thing. It's got her by the hair, too. I just noticed that. God help us all. Number seven. Number seven is trucking. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Disgusting. That's right. Number eight. Where's number eight at? Who's that? People of Walmart. What's going on? Zombies of Walmart. No benefits, huh? Good grief. Nice shift. Nice shift, killer. Graveyard shift. Graveyard shift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number nine. Drinking something. It was something. Oh, it's a human heart. It makes it look like candy, ladies and gentlemen. It's a human heart. Oh, Lord. Is it good? Mmm, very good. They just keep coming at you. I don't know how they come up with these things. Number 10. Number 10 is going to take a little bit. But it's coming. Yeah, digging the t shirt. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Bought it for number 10. These zombies go to 11. <laughs> Come on, some of you got that one. Thank you, thank you. Very green, very cool. A lot of blood on those pants. <laughs> Susan's honey. Hi there, nice to meet you. Susan Romero, ladies and gentlemen. She can't help it. She's fun of the zombies. Very nice, yeah, keep walking, no? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Do I see a 12? Ah, good job, oh, wait. Someone tripped you up? Okay. Come on, baby. They tried to trip her up, and she still made it. All the way to the judges. She's looking a little crispy. I'm listening in on what the judges are saying. Crispy. Very nice, how about a hand? Oh my goodness gracious. Number 13. Lucky number 13. What's going on here? Sure says I'm fine. Sure you are. Good Lord. Oh. She's eating his shoulder. 
Yeah. Yes, but he's okay. Yeah, but he's fine. His t-shirt says that all he's fine. At the end of the night, if you're missing your heart, check the zombies. Just make sure you check your chest before you leave tonight. Because anything goes. How about a ham? We're 13. Do I see a 14? We got a bunch of zombies here, ladies and gentlemen. 14 so far. 14 zombies, Mr. Impreza. I don't know what you're going to do because it's like an invasion. There's 14. Don't look at me. There you go. Keep walking. They all develop that limp, you know, like early in childhood because they, in their minds, they know they're going to be zombies. So they, as soon as they come out, you know, they start limping. Thank you. Do we have a 15? This one is jiggly. This one is like, look at this thing. In the 70s, bell bottoms and everything. I was there, I should know. Wow. Late 60s, I would say, yeah. Woodstock zombie. That's nice. Gray flower children is what it was. Look at this one. How about a ham? The Woodstock zombie. Number 15. Number 16. Alice in Zombieland is what I'm trying to pick everything else in Alice in Zombieland. She's reticent to say even a few words because, you know, she's a zombie. Right, they don't talk. You make them talk a little bit. First thing is like, hi, how are you? You a zombie? George, George, yes, I am. George announced on the set, please, zombies, don't drag your left leg. Do not drag your left leg. Because so many of them were doing it. Right. And they've been here tonight. I, they were not listening, were they? They weren't listening to drums. No, they're all about dragging I'm dragging my left leg. Number 17. Okay, here's 17. And we got more after 17, too, so it's not over yet. Oh, no. Uh, Lord. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Was there a lot? Oh God, it felt me so. That's it. The bathroom is through those doors. Uh, right yeah. How did we get here? This morning I was filling up paperwork, calling people in South America, enrolling students, and look what I'm doing tonight. Do we have an 18? Yeah, we do. Zombies behind your chatty right now. <laughs> you tell me you're not supposed to talk, and they're like, sorry. Look at this one. She's holding up her flip-flop. She swallowed a harmonica. <laughs> and she's wearing your t-shirt. <laughs> right? Very nice. And blue hair. Blue hair is all. Do I see a 19? Another leg dragger. See what I mean? Yeah. It's making me do it backwards. We have another one. This one is number 20, right? Number 20. This one's confident. <laughs> this one is like staring me down. It's freaking me out. You better clap because this one's gonna beat someone up. Number 21, do we have a number 21? Yeah. This one's like. <laughs> it's big with it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Runway zombie. We have another one. Yep. Come on up. Is all of Manessa out there coming in as zombies? Isn't it always? We say zombies, they show up. This is number 22. Number 23. Yeah, it's okay to give him my hand. This one's no messing around. Like I'm getting to the judges. We have another one. Yep. <laughs> you guys can move this way a little bit, just a little bit. Thanks. Yeah. 25. Went through a shredder. Yeah. One before this one is ringing a, a pina colon instead of pina colada. That's nuts. She's still doing it. 26. It's a helmet. Come on, people. I mean, the helmet. We have any others? We're all set. How about a hand for all the zombies here? Now the judges, the judges can uh, take a couple of minutes here to figure out what they're going to do and then we'll talk a little bit about the prices here. The third place 
is going to get Alternate Blood Kits, Super Sculpey, Deadly Grimes Coffee by Tyler Green. Thank you, Tyler Green. Special Makeup Effects, Tom Savini Special Makeup Effects t-shirt, and George A. Romero's autograph. It is an original signature. Autograph, 8 by 10 The third the third place prize is worth over 100 bucks. Great prize. Yeah, thank you. You can do it. You can clap. We encourage you. Dro knows it. Second place, Skin Tight Silicone Ultimate Zombie Kit. Ultimate Blood Kit. Super Sculpey. Deadly Grounds Coffee by Tyler Green. Special Makeup Effects Program T-shirt and George A. Romero's autograph. 8 by 10 Worth over 150 bucks for the zombie in the second place. We're going to find out here in a couple of minutes. And the first place zombie, the first place zombie is going to get a Beats Pill Bluetooth speaker. Thank you, Comcast Pittsburgh. We appreciate that. Skin Tight Silicon Ultimate Zombie Kit, Ultimate Blood Kit, Super Sculpey. This one's got it all. Deadly Grounds Coffee by Tyler Green. Savini Program T-shirt, George A. Romero Autograph. 8 by 10 This one for the first zombie is worth over 400 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. You're still freaking me out. So I'm going to stay away from here. Look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> Tuesday night in Manessa. Oh, yeah. Gone of the dead. Oh, great. Look at this. Yeah. Still. No, thank you. I ate already. Thank you. I, I had lunch and didn't have dinner, but late lunch. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're taking another look, ladies and gentlemen. It's not easy. It's not easy. They're saying, yeah, yeah, okay. I heard some numbers. Yeah, this is the one. What are we going to do? Drew! What's up? In the house. YouTube sensation. What on the floor? Yeah. How are we doing today? Let's make some noise, people, while we're waiting for the whole dust off. Over here, I gotta do something. Well, people, let's make some noise. I got some results here. <laughs> I got me some zombie winners. Third place winner. I can go this way. I can go this way. I can turn around. None but zombies. Third place zombie, number 24. Come on down, number 24. Yeah, that's you. She's, she's looking at her son. Oh. Wow, that's me. Come here. Here's Mr. Fear with your prize. Yeah. Stay right there because we're going to call up second place on me. Second place winner, number seven. Yeah. There's your prize. Number one. Number one zombie. Number one zombie. We're looking at number one zombie. And it's somewhere in here. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, the number one! Yeah. And that's how that's going. Right over there. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for number one, two, three? That's right. Mom Savini surrounded by zombies. Never seen that before. Alright. Please, everybody in here. Get some zombies and kneel down. So I'm gonna do a screenshot and I want everybody to attack Tom. So. Not physically. Get <laughs> a screenshot. Everybody look better. Right here. Right here. Okay, now attack Tom. Yeah. All right. Good job. Now we are here. Not only celebrating 50 years of George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Thank you. This is the Sci Fi Channel's 13th and final season. All right? No one wants that, but it's coming. Of course, we're going to watch the finale of this season here tonight. We've had seven finalists, seven finalists, and two winners. Nora Hewitt won, and also Sid Neutron is another one of our winners. How about a hand for a crash? Thank you. Now it's time for our makeup demos. And ladies and gentlemen, here's a man who needs no introduction to a lot of people in this room. He is the technical director of Tom Savini's special makeup effects program. He's worked on movies such as Day of the Dead, Silence of the Lambs, TV show, X-Files, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He won an Emmy Award for the show Babylon 5, Mr. Jerry 
Thirdly. From face of season 10, and a Savini graduate, Caleb Lewis. From season 1, and season 13, Savini graduate, Joe Holland. Joe. Season, face off. 10 and 13, Savini graduate, Melanie Lakata. She showed up. Straight from New York City. Straight from New York City. Represent. That's a wrong one. So there's Melanie. Where's Caleb? Caleb Lewis! Come on down! Come on. These people are like. Straight from LA. And Joe Holland, Joe, where are you at? Where's Joe you? Holland! Joe Holland. Joe Holland. Joe Holland. I see. We got them all? One, two. Three, LA, LA, New York. Mr. Gurdley, Mr. Gurdley, take it away. Tell the others what they're going to do, and what? we'll see you on the other side of this. We doing something? Yeah, we're doing some sort of demo, apparently. Oh, there's people out there, right? right? If the hey, if the models show up, because I understand we need three models here. Okay, we'll everybody, everybody how's everybody tonight? Woo! I want to welcome you to Douglas Education Center's Face Off Zombie Extravaganza. And we have our former grads who were on Face Off. They're all amazing artists. And they're gonna be doing some more zombie makeups for you as if you haven't seen enough zombies tonight. Do we have another <laughs> Oh, there they are. And they're gonna spend the next hour transforming these students into incredible zombies right before your very eyes. Pick up them makeup brushes. Start slapping at stuff on their faces. So for prosthetics, for latex, you're going to use Pax Paint, which is a combination of an anti acrylic paint and prosthetic medical adhesive. It makes equal parts, so for 50, and you make a paint that is very flexible, stretchy, will not crack, and will seal the rubber. Hey, how are you? Great, how are you? Come here often. Mr. Gregory, we have a question over here. Yes, ma'am. Where? Um, on average, for a sculpted uh, the facial prosthetic, on average, how long does it take you guys? How long does it take you guys? About a couple minutes? Three years? I think that's a kind of question depending on how fast the sculptor you are. It also and depends on what your timeline is and how much time the company gives you to sculpt. That's your timeline. If they tell you, we need this by tomorrow, you have to sculpt pretty fast. Yes. What do you use to grab the skin before putting on any of the Usually, you know, you just put the adhesive right on there. You can clean the skin off with alcohol, very stringent, and then you use the uh, prosthetic medical adhesive. Uh, it's a non toxic adhesive that will soak into the rubber and hold it on all day. It's waterproof. These are actually, no, these are from Night Living Dead, the one you can and that is from two boys. Right. Any other questions? Yes, right here. Tom Savini is right here. Yeah, what? You what? have a question for Tom? I do, Tom. Yeah. You have over here. Get her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have the same kind of facial hair situation. How do you guys deal with that kind of makeup? When you, when you got facial hair, you don't want to shave it off. Well, yeah. it has been done. Think of, think of Eddie Murphy and uh, when he played all those characters in Coming to America. Coming to America. When he played the little Jewish guy, well, he, he did not want to shave his mustache. So Rick Baker had to work around it. Um, I had my head cast for Dust Will Dawn with the goatee. But they, they use something called gaff quad. It's the basic ingredient of loose, and it just flattens it out. And uh, it's not evident in the finished face cast, so you can sculpt over it. So the, sometimes the hair on the face is a problem, sometimes it isn't. Depends on the makeup artist and what the finished makeup is going to be. Does he look like it was going on here? Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Well, yeah, I agree. Okay, very good. Yeah, you're, you. it wouldn't be a problem. Thank you, Dever. But while I, have you. Your, while I have your attention, I'd like to point out that uh, most of the students who have gone on to great success have never done this before they came here. We had a student, uh, Darren Holt, never sculpted before. I was buying stuff from the guy in his second semester. He was so good. You don't realize that when you start pushing clay around, 
the creature or the idea or the monster that's inside you. It's almost like you've given birth to something that never existed before. We call it the Frankenstein syndrome. You create something that didn't exist before. And that surprises the students that it comes out of them. That's part of the magic that happens here. They were not. They were actually prosthetics that were used in the remake of Night of the Living Dead, 1990, that Tom directed. And the one in the middle that Joe is doing was from a movie called Two Wads. Uh, foam latex appliances are somewhat generic if you find a person that has similar facial features to the one they were created on. And uh, that's what we did. I ran the pieces and we found models that they fit. When we did David that, we spent every day creating small, medium, and large appliances. Because we knew it would be strangers coming in to be made up of zombies. So if you walked in, I would take my medium and put it on you. Hey, do these teeth fit? And then that's how you became a zombie. How does the school kind of mesh with the ever-changing CGI and trying to get your philosophy across and carry on that tradition? Well, I hate CGI. <laughs> Now we teach you old school techniques and you know there's a lot of that making a comeback, you know, this physical effects. Nothing is better than having something on set right in front of you uh, than just months later creating it in a computer. It just doesn't, it looks like a video game, it doesn't mean anything. When it's done well, um, CGI, it's a, sometimes it's an economic decision, for example. If you watch episode one of, I think two seasons ago in The Walking Dead, there's a, there's a scene where all the, the lead characters are over a trough, and the bad guy is beating them on the head and cutting their throats and blood gushed out. They just put the blood tubing on their necks and didn't put appliances like this over it. The visual effects guys, the CGI guys, simply erased the tubing, which means they can do take after take after take. If we had to do the guy in Day of the Dead that gets torn in half, it would take five hours to do another take. So sometimes CGI is an economic reason. And a lot of times, um, you couldn't have the fantastic zombies that Nicotero was creating for The Walking Dead without CGI. Like the bicycle girl, the half person, you couldn't do that unless you put blue pants or green pants on the person and erase it later. So sometimes, I mean, I wish I had CGI sometimes when I was doing stuff to make it easier to blend the edge, you know. Uh, but it's a, just a tool, it's just a tool. But Jerry's correct. There seems to be a collective desire to get back to this stuff, the practical stuff. When the movie Evil Dead came out, they were bragging that there's no CGI in that movie. When J.J. Abrams did Star Wars, he used a lot of practical effects, and I personally thanked him for doing that, you know. Um, so there's a collective desire. When you see American Werewolf in London, that stuff was happening right in front of you. If you've seen any of my movies, that stuff was happening right in front of you. Sometimes there's a mental disconnect. If it looks too good, you're thinking, well, it's impossible, it must be CGI. That's a shame because in Land of the Dead, there was a great character whose jaw was open and you see her feet. That was makeup, it was not CGI. So it wasn't fair to the makeup artist for that disconnect from the audience that say, well, that's CGI, it's impossible. Thank you. Question. All right, so similarly to the protecting your eyebrows question, um, I worked on a production for the community college that I go to of Adam's family, and Uncle Fester needed his eyebrows gone, but he didn't want to shave them off. And I had a really hard time trying to block out his eyebrows, so I ended up having to make a really, like, Wing latex like prosthetic to put over his eyebrows, but the edge was really bad. Is there any advice that you guys have for blocking out eyebrows besides putting a, a um, prosthetic piece over it? Well, what you can do is you want to glue the eyebrows. It depends on how thick your eyebrows are. It's a lot of times if they're they're really dark, it's kind of hard to cover them up with just makeup. But you want to glue them down really well with either spirit gum or medical adhesive and then press powder in it, try to get it as flat as possible. Then you can put over it what's called an eyebrow cover. You can actually make those out of a very thin, you know, piece of vinyl plastic. And uh, the vinyl is a liquid, you can paint it, you know, onto a, a mirror or anything, you know, and then just, like, when it's dry, you powder, peel it off, 
It's very, very thin. You can glue that over there and then just take a little bit of acetone and touch the edge and it totally disappears. And then you can put makeup over it. That's one way you can do it. You can make thin latex ones also, but then you're going to have the problem with the edges showing up. Uh, the vinyl, you know, your edges are gone. They just disappear in your skin. Thank you, Mr. Gurgley. And if it looks like our instructors know a lot, it's because they do. That's just one of them up there. We have a whole group of them with a lot of experience and information. They want to know how you deal with uh, making feedback from the judges on Facebook. Um, well, these are people that you look up to in the industry, so if you're hearing any feedback, sometimes it can be a little more negative than what you were thinking. But um, just kind of take everything that they say and like use it and ask me to do something. You, you really want it. Like, it's, not, it's kind of upsetting. <laughs> Oh, we got questions after the questions. Is that what's going on? Yeah. yeah. So people always like laugh at me every, um, because I was doing this project in school one time. Uh, people ever like laughed at you and told you that your dream was like a fantasy? That can happen. That happened to me when I was in high school. I wanted to be, you know, get into the movies. And in civics class, you had to fill out, you know, your research. And I turned it in, I got a D. And wrote on there, yeah, you're just a dreamer, this will never happen. I, I kept it, and when I got in the movie industry, I went back to high school, and I showed it to him and said, maybe you shouldn't do this kind of stuff. You know, because... Welcome to Matt now. Uh, I'm going to end you from the nomination. Of it, tin foil. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's clever. And what's this play? Oh, okay, cool. Because I made it this weekend, so I needed it to make sure it dried. So, and I knew if I put sculpey in the oven, it would work. Oh, nice. Yeah, I see it in there. It's like a baked potato almost. Pretty much, yeah. So I, I took tin foil and I made it into the basic brain shape, and I stuffed it with cotton so it hold its shape. And then I took sculpey and rolled it out into little things and wrapped it around and I did the bottom section first and cooked that and then I flipped it over and put the top section. I tried one thing where I tried to put all around at the same time and it all just fell apart. So I had to cook one section, turn it over and then cook the second section. How long did it take you total to do it? 
three hours. Including all the rolling and everything? Uh, yeah, it was just the making. The cook time took longer, but the rolling and the painting took three hours. Well, I love it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more. Get rolled three. I want to know what your Instagram is. Uh, all of my social media is Mega Chambers Design, including my website, megachambersdesign.com. How do you spell that? M E G A N C H A M B E R S D E S I G N. That's really long. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Congrats on winning. Thank you very much. You having fun? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love all the makeup. Your outfit is awesome. So I'm, I'm a little short. <laughs> it's okay. I'm short too. <laughs> this is Jackie, oh. the president. Hey, nice to meet you. Come man, appreciate yeah, you. Definitely. Hi. Hi. What'd you make that out of? What'd you make that out of? Um, I made two prosthetics for the teeth, um, top and bottom. And I did like a prosthetic mask with cotton and latex, basically oh, on cool. a sculpting mask. And then I put it all together, cotton and latex, blood. Can I touch it? It's all jiggly. Like. It's jiggly. <laughs> Thank you. You're shaking. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank all right. you. Go ahead, yeah, I got it. One, two, three, one more. One, two, three. I love it. It worked? Okay, good. Okay. So, yeah, it's a little bit quieter back here. But I'm going to end the video now um, since I guess the event's done. I'm going to, I don't know if there's anything else that goes on. I'll turn the camera back on. But I'll probably have to leave in a little bit because it's already 9.30 here and I got to go back and feed Luna and make sure she's okay and all that. I don't even know who's all left over here on the stream, but whoever is left over, thanks for hanging out so long. But yeah, okay, good night guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Girl has some other business to do.